one particular audition. I was going in for the show, It Should Have Been You. And I sang Rebecca's song, A Little Bit Less Than. And I loved that song and I sang it really, really well. And I identified so much with this song and this character who lived a life striving for perfection, having all of these expectations on her and feeling like she never measured up. And so I was very purposeful about it and I just thought I nailed my audition. And then the two men who were at the table said to me, I'm not sure that you're a Rebecca. That was very good. You sound very good, but I think you should be the other sister. Now, if you know the show, it should have been you. The physical body image of these two sisters is an integral part of the story. So um, the character that I was going for was a slim character and her sister was a larger woman. And my first instinct in this audition was actually to take it as a compliment. I thought, wow, they think I could play the lead because the character I was going in for was like the, like a secondary lead. She wasn't the lead lead, right? So, wow, they think I could play the lead. They think I can sing this really difficult song. Wow, that's really cool. And then they went on to say, you know, because that character, she doesn't have to be really overweight, just a little overweight. And I thought, Oh, I, I guess I'm a little overweight. Okay, but I'm not really overweight. <laughs> and they think I can sing. You're an acceptable overweight, right? Yes. <laughs> oh my gosh. So needless to say, I didn't get called back for either role. And I remember posting on a forum that I'm a part of on Facebook. And um, I don't I don't know what I even posted about, but I was still thinking that I was receiving compliments. Um, I, you know, I thought, wow, I nailed that audition. They thought I could do the other role. Um, and then somebody said something like, how dare anybody comment on your body image in the audition or on your body in the audition? And then it hit me. And I started thinking back to the other things they said about the character that I originally went in for. They said, well, you know, she really needs to be flat chested. And hmm. I, I am not a large person. Like I am like a, now I'm probably a size six, but the time was like a size four. I'm like a, like a size small medium. And uh, you know, nowhere in the script does it say that this character needs to be flat chested. Nowhere in this script does it say exactly how overweight the other character has to be. Right. It's, it, and these, the people casting were putting their own, opinions and presumptions and visions of who these women were. Um, and, and they were articulating it to me in the audition about my body. And I realized right. how wrong that was. And, you know, when I think back on that story, I don't get angry at the men. I get angry with myself because I yeah. didn't realize how inappropriate that was yeah. and that I felt so insecure about my own singing and my own acting that I allowed them to speak to me like that and that I took it as a compliment instead of realizing how inappropriate it was. Yeah, I mean, because size is, as you said, it is integral to the story, but at the same time, if you are brought in and you're auditioning for one character, then they need to see, do you fit this character? And rather than then try to make it about a judging your body and yeah, it needs to be like, does she fit this character? Period. It doesn't need to be, well, maybe you're big enough or maybe you're small enough or maybe you're, yeah, I, I, I can see why in the, in the moment you're taking it as a compliment because we all want to be like, no, you're not a supporting, you're a leading actress. So go for the great. But yeah, yeah. It is strange that they would differentiate and be so, so specific about, what the slender one has to look like, what the larger one has to look like. It's so it's, yeah, it is very interesting that they did that to you. Yeah. And, you know, I just, I share that story because, you know, these men were, they were nice in the audition. I mean, you know, they weren't being, they were trying to be rude or anything like that. They were trying to yeah. be complimentary and kind. It was just that 
I didn't have the self-worth and the self-awareness to stand in who I was and to, you know, just, just to know that I didn't need my body to be commented on, to know that I was a good singer. I was a good actor. I went in for this role. I may or may not be the fit, but that I, I didn't need them to tell me who I was. Knowing what you know now or, or having thought through it more since that audition, would if you could go back, would you have said or done anything differently? I tend to be a pretty mild-mannered person. So I would like to say that I would have found a kind way to say something. I don't know if I would have had the courage or not in the moment, <laughs> to be perfectly frank. Right. Right. Um, but I do think that now I would have been able to stand in my own self-worth without allowing their opinions of my body to color what roles I thought I may or may not be right for. Did did you find that after that audition that you thought about that a little bit more? Oh, yeah. It was a big wake-up call mm. that, you know, just that I allowed myself to go there, that I allowed their opinions of my body to um, impact what I thought about what I could play. No, no more 